If you are a lover of Nigeria Info radio station, we have with you one of the faces behind the microphone that you don't get to see often. Now, her show is Breakfast News Digest from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And her name is Wemimo Adewumi. She's an OAP and an anchor on Nigeria Info FM. Today, we are bringing radio <laughs> to TV, and it's such a delight it's to have you. It's great to be here, ladies. Welcome. It's great to be here. Thank you. And usually, you're the, ones, uh, you're the one asking the questions. So I you're mean, on our hot seat. I feel as... <laughs> I feel like I'm on the hot seat today, so I'm usually the ones asking all the questions, but hey. No, Karen, you'll be fine. You're family, I'm so sure. it'll be very easy with I'm you. I'm sure, I'm sure. Let's talk about, you know, your journey into journalism. Today, you're a radio presenter. Yes. But you were not always a radio presenter. How did you all no. start? Oh, so I started out planning to study law, like both of you <laughs> did. Oh, yeah. so you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been listening. So I started out trying to study law because I've always been passionate about development. I couldn't stand injustice, you know, so I wanted to fight back at the society. Unfortunately, the educational system, I scored highly. I wasn't given. Uh, next option was English language. And then my next thought is, so I'm not giving up on this dream. How else do I speak for people? Then journalism came in and I had the opportunity to come on radio. So here we are. It's been eight years and going on wow, well. Wow, that's almost 10 years. Yeah. And basically, how has the journey been so far? Interesting, challenging. Challenging because the issues still stare us in the face. And you know, uh, earlier this year, I was probably beginning to have palpitations, just looking at the issues we had in Nigeria and the fact that we keep talking about them every day. Unfortunately, it would seem that the government doesn't really pay attention. So we keep doing the bits we can, but I mean, we are still the voice of the people, and it's good to know that you can speak for so many. Let's look. You mentioned that the journey has been challenging. Let's look at some of the challenges that you encountered as an individual. So challenges that you encountered and challenges that journalism as a profession encounters in Nigeria. You really want to know. So <laughs> my challenge is I'm a lady. I have a family. So you know what that means. So my show, for instance, is 6 a.m. in the morning till 9 you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all those usual issues, having to manage the home and your job, you're growing on the job, you want to keep it all together. They talk about time management and all, you know, all of those things. And then here, uh, we talk about journalism as a whole, where we all face these issues. At the office, you have different characters you're dealing with. The stories are breaking per second. You have to keep up with them. And you also want to be sure you're not breaking the wrong stories or giving out the wrong information. So, I mean, we all face these things. Okay, so concerning breaking the wrong stories yeah. or giving out the wrong information, how do you think journalists in the business now should do that? Because we have people just te telling news, you know, we have newspaper posts and yeah. all of that. And then you go out later and find out what they said wasn't, wasn't true. true. So it's more like having fake news all over the place. So one of the uh, pleasant things that have happened to journalism is that we have uh, more people, <clears throat> excuse me, who are now citizen journalists who can tell the story as it breaks. So with your phone, you can report what's going on. Unfortunately, because we cannot, I'm not an advocate of checking, you know, social media, but we run the risk of then putting out a story and not getting a balanced side. And that's where the problem comes for journalism. So we're carried away by the emotion of the story we want to tell all of it, but where are the facts? Like I always say, if you do not have facts, you do not have statistics, you do not have a voice to back your story, you have no clip to really show me the person said so, you had better refrain from telling that story. Because most times, like we always say, the internet never forgets. Once you put it out there, it's gone viral already. People are sharing it. You can't go back to all of them and say, oh, it was a mistake, it was a wrong story. So you have to be careful in balancing your reports as a journalist. As uh, individuals also telling stories in Nigeria. And I'm sure there are tools that journalists can use as well to fact check and yes. ensure that the information they're putting out is not false because you run the risk of engaging yourself, uh, engaging for yourself and your company a civil suit. You know, there's we have issues of libel, defamation, yes. slander, and all, all the, the sorts of defamation of character yes. as well as basically setting the raw wrongly, wrongly, I beg your mm. pardon, in motion. So let's, let's look at the training for being a journalist. I hear that there's a training coming up soon and that um, it's um, a free training. What's it about? Yes, it is. So, aside being a reporter, I also report and being a presenter on radio, because I'm passionate about development issues, so I've highlighted some of the challenges we have as journalists. And so, I put together a media hub called MeDrive, and we've had a media roundtable in August. So, this is the second training we're having for journalists. Uh, we're going into the election season. 
and I thought it is appropriate that we train journalists. Now, it will shock you that we do not have so many trainings. Many of our journalists are not really trained. So what we try to do is bring them together and then bring different people in different faces who have really the information they need and train them. So we'd have INEC come in, tell us what are the guidelines to reporting election. We have Africa Check tell us how to fact check during and after election. We have so many other people. So we're bringing together about 70 journalists. We had almost 150 applicants, but we had to shortlist to 70. And on Wednesday, we'll be holding that training from 11 to 3. Oh, it's a one-day training. It's a one-day training. Now, is this training for journalists or for would-be journalists as well? Interestingly, I was quite overwhelmed to see the applications. In fact, we had people from Congo, Brazzaville, uh, wow. register from all over. Now, the flyer we put out was to say strictly for those in Lagos because of funding issues, but we had from all over. And I discovered also, because I love working with interns, I think one of the problems we have is there's a gap. We're not passing the knowledge we have on to the next. So I work a lot with volunteers. We also have about 15 volunteers who will be working with their interns. So there's a mix of those who are journalists. Before the training, we're looking at hardcore journalists who have a minimum of three years experience. But we also have a good breed of interns who could learn while uh, they're, they're working too. Okay. Brilliant. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you for all Thank that you. you're doing. And we look forward to seeing um, the results of this. Yeah. For people who are interested in, you know, contacting the Media Room Hub, you call it? Mid-Drive. Mid-Drive. And, you know, I think it's already too late to register for the coming uh, event. Yes, registration closed. Today. Well, I'm sure there will be others coming. There are so many others coming. Okay, so for people who are interested in being a part of this, how can they be? All right, so you can reach us. Our website is www.medrive. That's me, drive. Dot org. You can also follow us on Twitter at MidriveNG, same on Instagram. Or you could follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Wemimo Sports. So just Google my name, Wemimo Adewini, and I'm pop up. Thank you for joining us, Wemimo. Thank Wemi you for Mo. having me. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.